This is the Park Assist. To operate the Park Assist, you'll need to pair it to the Garage Smart app before you install it. Remove the universal mount on the back of the Park Assist to reveal the QR code using the Garage Smart app. Tap the Devices tab and then tap the plus sign. Scan the QR code and give it a name. The name of the Park Assist will appear in the Devices menu. You don't need to have the Park Assist plugged in to scan it. Your Park Assist comes with a door sensor. Pair the door sensor to the app using the same process. To install the Park Assist, you'll need to either attach it to SmartTrack or mount it to drywall using the included screws. Make sure when you mount the Park Assist that it will be in a good position for the vehicles you will be parking in your garage and that the Park Assist won't be obstructed by things like your garage door or a taller vehicle. To mount with screws, use the included paper template and make two marks on the drywall. Use a screwdriver to install the screws as a drill could strip the holes. Leave your screws sticking out one quarter of an inch for proper mounting. If needed, remove the universal mount from the Park Assist and attach the Park Assist to the screws. To mount with SmartTrack, replace the universal mount and snap your Park Assist onto the Smart Track. See our stud finding video here to help you find your studs. And before installing any Smart Track, please view our mounting guidelines video here to safely install your Smart Track and the product you will mount to it. Once your Park Assist is in position, plug it into power using the included DC cable. You can connect it to power by plugging it into another Garage Smart accessory, such as the Spotlight or Sound Drop, or you can plug it directly into a power adapter from Garage Smart. A power adapter is required to operate the Park Assist. When mounting to SmartTrack, use the included track covers to make your install look its best. Once the Park Assist is mounted and powered up, use the app and turn on the Park Assist. Both lasers will come on. Safely move one or both of your vehicles into position and adjust the lasers so that they are pointed at a spot that will help you park your vehicles. We recommend pointing a laser at one of the windshield washer nozzles on the hood of your vehicle. If your vehicle does not have visible nozzles, simply find another memorable place to aim the laser. Grab the door sensor, remove the cover, and add the included batteries. The Garage Smart app will automatically pair with the sensor since you already scanned the QR code. Remove the adhesive from the back of the sensor and stick it to your garage door on the highest possible panel, or to the top of your man door. Mounting it as high as you can will ensure that the sensor activates as soon as possible once the door starts opening. In the app, go to the devices and tap the door sensor. Tap Calibrate. The app will want to know if the door is in the open or closed position. You'll need to open and close your garage door. Follow the instructions in the app to calibrate your door sensor. Once the door sensor is calibrated, you're ready to set up an automation. In the devices menu, tap the door sensor. Select whether you want the operation to occur when the door opens or closes. You can program the Park Assist to turn on for a select number of minutes every time you open your garage door. The door sensor can also turn on or off other accessories, such as the spotlights and power drop, when the door opens or closes. That's it. Your Park Assist is ready to use. Thanks for watching. Leave us a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And be sure to visit our website for more products that will make your garage even smarter.